Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone FPV, and I realized today when somebody was purchasing an update cable that uh, for their FrySky uh, receiver that the link that shows you how to use it or how it's supposed to be used is missing. I'm not sure what happened to the page, but Lord knows it was probably uh, when I was screwing around trying to do some cool updates or something. I have no idea. So anyways, I decided to put this video together real quickly, and as you can see right here, I've got my, uh, my QX7 ready to go, and I'm just going to show you how to use this on a... Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm picking a random mini because I've got so much work to do on long range right now. So I picked a random one. And then what I'm gonna show you is I'm, I'm gonna show you how I make the cable because I want you guys to be able to do this. You know, if you wanna do it on your own, if you have the parts, go ahead. I mean, it's not like anybody's generating a living out of this thing, I mean, to make the cable. But if you want me to make it for you, I'm more than happy to, guys. And, uh, you know, I think there are a couple bucks. I mean, it's not like it's breaking the bank either to have me do it and make sure the quality is where you would hope it would be. So in either case, let me show you what we're working with real quick. And I'm gonna swap screens here and go this route. And uh, okay, so first thing I want to do, let me try to get this to zoom in just about right there. Okay, so this is a regular cable, right? Um, and what you'll notice is that on a cable like this, uh, and I've cut this, this cable is actually used for something else, but what you'll notice is that we've got our three pins and we've got ground uh, on the uh, left, okay? And then we've got our positive in the middle, and then we've got our um, signal on the right or our S port on the right, okay? So if you take like your QX7, and you were to plug this into your porch right here, uh, it would go in just like that, and you would be able to basically update. Now, uh, so you can kind of have your own cable there if you have like an audio or a video cable from a camera that came with one of these. So here's what I do, and this is one of the things that I wanted to point out is, um, because, I, I mean, I have a million uh, wires, right? I, I, I keep them in stock all the time, but I cannot always promise you that the colors are gonna be red uh, black, red, and yellow. And then, again, this pattern, this this uh, this way of doing it is on a QX7 X Lite. On the X9D uh, Plus, it's uh, positive ground and signal. Okay, so those two will be switched. But um, so what I want to show you was, if you do get uh, the wires from me, you're going to end up, and you'll see on the website here. So I want to actually show you this page too. So bear with me, and I'll show you this real quick. Okay, so if you're on our website and you, I guess you type in, um, uh, let me see, FR Sky. Let's try cable. I don't know sure if that's going to pull it up or not. Okay, so there's the cable right there, right? So on the firmware cable for the X-Lite, um, one thing you're going to see, and I just added this uh, to the description, is you're going to see a color combination here. So if you don't have black, red, yellow, you're probably going to end up with something like gray, orange, or green. Now, gray is always going to be our ground. Orange will always be our positive, And green will always be our S port, our signal. But if any of those change, just notice that gray will always be ground. So if you see a gray cable, that's going to be ground. That will not change. Uh, if you see orange, orange will always be positive, okay? And then the green will be a, uh, a, a signal, a S port signal. Yellow will be an S port signal. So just keep that in mind as they uh, as they modify. But you should see them in this order in case I don't have black, red, or yellow available at that time. Uh, so, anyways, in this case, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. So let's switch back. All right. And so what we've got here is I've got the gray, um, the green, and the orange. Right. So what I'm going to do is let me grab this real quick. I'm going to take a um, I'm going to take this into a one three pin right here and I'm going to open this up and I'll see if I can zoom in to get you guys a really close view of what I'm doing but hopefully I don't go off screen with it okay so the main thing is I got to remove the cables right so the first thing will be to take the pin here make sure that's not too close okay and we're going to just pry off that tab a little bit just pull it back I gotta always stick myself with this, uh, these sharp tweezers so that's why what? If you stick yourself once with these, the $2 would be worth having somebody else do it. I promise you, because the pain is ridiculous. Okay, so we know the pattern is going to go ground, uh, uh, positive, and then signal, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here, and that's going to be my positive. Now let me take my gray out. I can zoom out a little bit. You don't need to be that close. So we're going to pop the tab on the gray. Okay. I'm going to go put that in. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our green, which is gonna be our signal in this case. And we're gonna pop that out. And we're gonna pop that right back in there, okay? So now we have, for all purposes, we have our cable. And there it is, gray, orange, and green, which uh, if you notice here, it's right there, gray, orange, and green, right? So what we're gonna do now is let's zoom out and let's show you how this is gonna work, all right? So we're gonna bring in the, here's our uh, R9 Mini. Okay, and we're gonna bring in the radio, which is right here. All right, now remember, on the QX7, the ground is always gonna be on your left, okay? So just plug it in like that with, with gray to your left, 
and your signal to your right, and then your ground in the, uh, your power in the middle. All right, and you're gonna hold down your uh, menu button, press page one time, go to firmware. Now, I've got my firmware folder structure a little different, but right there it says I've got my FrySky RX firmware, so I'm gonna click that, and there's my R9 Mini R9MM uh, firmware, so I'm gonna uh, hit that, and then there's my R9, I'm not gonna use the F port, but again, this is just an example. So on, your, on, the, um, on the receiver here, uh, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have your ports here to connect to, right? And if you look at your, um, and I'm just gonna show you so in case any of you are doing the mini, I'll show you how this is coming about. Let me just open this page. I'm sorry, I have, there we go. Okay, so if you're looking at this and you're gonna look at your page here and they give you for reference, right? The pins at the top. So to, in order to have the pins at the top, let me get this sticker off, I don't, all right? In order to have the pins at the top, and the pins to your left, it has to be sitting like this. And you're gonna look right here. That's positive voltage in, ground, and S port. So you're gonna go orange, gray, green, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, uh, and to make sure they all fit properly, um, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna rotate them up and down here. So we're gonna go orange from the bottom, all right? Gray from the top. And then we're gonna go green from the bottom. And this way it avoids hitting all the plastic because what it'll end up doing is it'll end up putting it at an awkward angle. And let me get this one in. Sorry, it takes me just a second here to line this up. There we go, okay? So now, for all purposes, there you go. That's your data cable. It, on a small receiver, that's how you would do it, right? On a bigger one, you can just you know fit them however you want. Go ahead and enter. We're gonna flash the S port, and we're gonna see here, and you're gonna see the lights blinking and it's gonna say that it's writing, okay? So you can see right now, I'll zoom in just a little bit without trying to, I don't wanna mess this up, but there you go. You're gonna see that it's writing and this is how you're gonna do it, okay? So that's how I make the cable and that's the cable that you're gonna be buying from me. Some of you have ordered some this week and they're gonna be coming gray, orange, and green. Some of you will get black, red, yellow. Um, I try to keep the colors as, as, uh, as uh, you know, color coordinated as possible, but uh, sometimes uh, given inventory and my orders coming in, I don't have those colors. And so I'm gonna keep a chart here on the page like I showed you here earlier, uh, right there. And you will be able to see if I do change and add more colors, you'll see them here in this list. And I'm gonna update this link right here so that it sh sends you to the video I'm making right now. Okay, so if you're watching this video and you got it from that link, then you already know this. Okay, so um, we're gonna wait for it to kind of get done updating here. So let's give it a second. And uh, so for those of you that are running like the X9D, uh, X9D plus or what have you, um, the signal, uh, these wires are reversed, okay? So uh, in that case, you can do one of two things. Um, I sell the cable also for that, which if you go back here, uh, you will see it, it is right here, okay? So this is the X9D cable. And uh, on this one, um, actually my whole thing is different. This drawing, they ended up coming out different, but on this cable, the positive is on the outside, then it's ground, then it's signal. Okay, uh, so you have basically the positive and the ground switched. Uh, again, it's two bucks and it'll also have the same chart where the colors, if they change. All right, we're almost done, right? Okay, so we're done, it says okay. Uh, we're gonna hit exit and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. Uh, now you don't have to wait to turn it off in order to take off your receiver. I just do that out of habit. Um, okay, and there you go. So, and then your cable's out and you're done. Store your cable away. And uh, I think they usually come in the plastic bags, they ship them in. But that should take care of it, guys. It's a quick video. Um, I'm hoping that this helps. Uh, again, it's just to address the color issue and also the fact that there's a broken link there that I'm going to fix right now. And if you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, you can email me at Tarek at CycloneFPB.com. Please make sure to subscribe to our, uh, our YouTube uh, channel for support. And then always uh, follow us or like us or whatever you're supposed to do on Facebook. And that's it. All right. Safe flying, guys. God bless. Appreciate your time. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.